Oh. I'm always looking at that other clock and it's not right. No, it's off by a couple minutes. Can you check to see if I have sound? Because last time I didn't have sound. Hi, animals and animal. Okay, good. Thank you. Yesterday I didn't have to sound, so Julia was checking the sound for me. I have some housekeeping to do, and then I'll be right with you guys. We're going to um, make some sauerkraut and some fermented carrots and stuff today. So I'm super excited about that. But I am running behind, so I have to do just a little bit of, oh, no, is this computer dead? Oh, no, 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 you're not going to start. I think my computer. No, you got to stop that. Come here. Go, go, go away. Oh, my God. Well, I hope you're doing okay. Good to see you guys. I'm doing some housekeeping. I'm a little bit behind. There's four of you in the house. One thumbs up. Let's, uh... Oh, boy. I might have to... Hold on, you guys. My good computer is not responding. Hi, the Boss Life Online. I'm still doing some housekeeping here. Um, we had quite the storm this morning, so we're having, okay, there we go. A little bit of a storm surge and one of my computers is messed up. So I have to use my old computer to do just some basic housekeeping. And let's go ahead and find the internet, please. Thank you. Look. Trying to be prepared and it didn't work. Ooh, a notification saying that Karen's doing her live stream right now. Right, I know. And I can't figure out what's, I can't get either of my other two computers working. Oh, is it what? I think so. We're having, we had a really bad storm this morning. So let's uh, just a little bit behind. Thank you guys for being here and for your patience. Why won't this one turn on though? I don't understand that. Did we lose power last night? It wouldn't make sense why that one wouldn't turn on and this one would. Okay. And then the inner, well, I'll just talk to you guys. I'm going to get coffee, be right back. See, yep, I'm, I'm, I am too, boss life. I am too. Technical difficulties. <clears throat> Rookie mistake. Yesterday I couldn't get sound to come on. Hi, Food Forest Permaculture. Good to see you. Yesterday I couldn't get sound to work, and today I can't get... I'm having a hard time getting my other computers started. We had a really bad storm here, and things are just moving slowly. So trying to do my housekeeping, and I'm just, hey, oh, it's Julia. Julia's here. I am. Julia's right over there. All right, maybe now this will work. Let's go to my channel, and here we are. I am making um, a red sauerkraut, a green sauerkraut, and uh, a ginger, fermented ginger carrot today. Miss Natural in New Orleans, good to see you. Um, I am just doing a little bit of housekeeping, and then we'll get started. We have a lot to do, a whole lot to do. So first of all, I need to make sure that's the number one right there. Now, if you would do me a favor, hi Alyssa, if you guys could share it out as I am sharing it out, that way we won't be, well, I'll be doing the same thing. 
Okay, this window has to close. All right, go to that live, my channel. Natural, hello to everyone just uh, made it to work, listening in, thank you, thank you. Uh, good morning, Karen, hello fellow earthlings. I hope everybody has their coffee and I hope you're sharing out the stream. So I have, uh, I'm gonna do this. The kitchen is open. Yay! Come on through. Yeah, we had some pretty wicked storms this morning. Uh, so much, th so um, Amelia, the puppy that's here, was trying to crawl under my bed, but I have no crawl space under my bed. Um, and then uh, lightning, lightning. Did you see all the lightning, Julia? Um, not really. Oh, it was, well, you have no light down there. The lightning was frightening. I will just say that, and the thunder was loud. Like number four, and hit that thumbs up. Thank you, uh, thank you so much. The kitchen is open. Just trying to get. Oh, look at that! My other computer came on. Again, and again. <laughs> Come on through. Yeah, as soon as I'm done with this, you guys will get started right away on the carrots. Um, and then uh, move on to the red cabbage. The red cabbage was quite a success. Um, I, I, we had brats last night and then um, I said, hey, let's try this sauerkraut and people just loved it. They really loved it. Um, I mean, Gail loved it and Julia loved it. Julia also liked the other one, the one that I said I wasn't quite sure about the, the uh, Napa cabbage with ginger and um, ginger and red pepper. I didn't like that as much. I thought it needed to sit for another week, but Julia was like, I like it. So it's in the fridge. If she wants to eat it, she can eat it. I'll eat it also, um, except, oh, I see what happened. Okay, Move, like I said, just doing some housekeeping. Uh, if I guess uh, my computer completely shut down. All right, okay, so all of that's done. Um, we're gonna move over here and first thing I'm gonna do is start the dishwasher because I can. We also might be out of soap. Uh, what kind of soap? For the dishwasher. No, we're not. All right, you guys. Oh, great. You're staring at that. Interesting. Food for going back to the salmon fishing. Much love and respect, folks. Oh, good. I'm glad. Salmon fishing. I want to be there with you. It sounds like so much fun. Um, sorry, I was not sorry. I was just a little bit behind. Thank you so much for your patience today. Um, two things we got to do before we do the carrots. One, we have to do some kefir milk, and I have to get some creamer for my coffee. Because you know, coffee, right? Good morning, Karen and other friends. Hello to everyone making, what, listening. Okay, we got that. Um, we're out of creamer. Nope, there it is. Gonna get some creamer and then get started on this. Thumbs up the live. Thank you, Boss Life Online. Let's get going on that kefir. Everybody has seen me make kefir milk, but we're going to, we need to do it. We haven't made it in two days. So I'm just going to do this. So we have some kefir ready to go. And a jar. We're gonna put three quarters of a cup of this kefir in the new jar, as we've been doing every single day. Okay. 
Uh, if you go to Cultures for Health, they will say that you only need three tablespoons. Well, that's fine. That's what Cultures for Health says. I say you need that much because it makes the fermentation a lot um, more permanent. Not permanent, a lot more, uh, what do you call it? It happens faster and um, it seems to ferment more evenly so you don't get a lumpy kefir. So we'll put that over there. You guys, it's this easy. If you like kefir milk, once you get your starter or your kefir grains, go ahead and make it yourself. All right, here we go. The second part, just flavoring this one. Remember, this is the one I made in the brown glass, so it uh, it didn't have to sit in a dark area, but it, it did. So, all right, right, let's let me do this one thing. Okay, and a lid would be helpful. Normally I would put a plastic lid on, but because we have so many ferments going on, I'm gonna go ahead and put a metal lid and we'll go ahead and put, once this is shaken up, we'll put this back in the fridge. There we go, done. Okay, so the first plan, you guys, today, uh, the first plan is to take some organic carrots and get them fermenting with a nine, uh, with a 2% salt brine. And today we're going to use not only fresh ginger, but I found these delicious um, organic crystallized ginger dices. Um, it's crystallized ginger. A lot of you have seen this, but this is um, so bright. Did somebody change the bulbs in here, Julia? Everything has gotten so bright. Maybe it's just darker outside. Anyway, so there is the crystallized ginger. I like these smaller pieces because they're much more manageable. Um, the bigger pieces you can't really measure. So, and they're really good to eat. Hey, All American Grandpa. Hello, Alicia. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you so much. Um, we're doing a couple things today. I'm sure you just heard it. Going to bring you back over here. Oh, I can't get. Okay. I'm going to try to get signed into my other computer so I can manage the stream a little bit better. Okay, let's see if that, oh, there we go. We're almost in. All right, so live, love, and learn. So good to see you again, Grandpa. Yep, all-American Grandpa with his dog, Lulu. Is it Lulu? I forget. Okay. So, put the milk away and get started on the carrots. Julia, do you want to do me a favor? I'll see if I have one in here, but um, down, oh, no, we're good. Okay. We're good. I needed a small jar for this. We need a small jar for the carrots. So let me bring you guys down here. And we're going to start slicing the carrots. And yes, although they're organic, we will rinse them off. I'm not going to do a big thing of carrots because I really want to stuff them in there and get them um, packed in tight so that they don't rise up above the brine. And then I'll show you how we make the brine. One peaceful my my mother used to make all kinds of things like you do, Karen. Oh, that's great. Luna is the dog, not Lulu. Luna is the dog's name. Okay. I need a cutting board. Put this out of the way. So these just need a good rinse. They don't need um 
they don't. I usually like to spray it with um, with apple cider vinegar, but we don't have any in the house right now. And uh, I feel okay about these because they're organic. So a good rinse is good enough. Hey, girl, Boss Life Online. Gio, hello. Gio, um, I need to email you about Sunday. There's no problem. I just want to ask you a couple questions. And then also, the Sunday that I'm going home, which is the first weekend in August, I will not be able to live stream at that, that noontime. So I just need to let you know that. So that's the first weekend of August. But I also want to talk to you about um, this Sunday. So I'll, we'll, I can just email you, I assume. Is that right, Boss Life? Okay. I think the pup wants to come in, Julia. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's get these sliced up. I need to sharpen this knife. Go away. Go away. Good. It's a good story. I know, right? <laughs> We're charged at 100%. All right. I will take your place Sunday the 4th. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, please email. I will email you. I really wish that I was more prepared right now. Everything's moving slow. I swear to God, the internet. We're struggling here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take a sip of, uh, before we get started on the carrots. And then we'll go here and here. Now, it's easier for me to see the chat on this computer, so that's why I'm trying to make sure I have that up. There we go. All right. Let's get going on this. So first of all, I sharpened my knife. And we're going to slice these. Make sure to have a garbage bowl. So. We all are Alicia Boss. I will take it. Okay. So, hey, girl. Okay. How to use those kinds of things. What? Mother-in-law, okay, all right. I thought I was behind on the chat, but I'm not. So, slice it into. Okay, so what we want, you guys, is for that to come up just to the lip, like that, okay? Because we're gonna pack these in here. Okay, so. And you don't want, this is too thick, so I'm going to cut that in half. So as I cut them, I'm going to pack them in because I really want them to stay under the brine. So once again, too thick. These are not going to ferment the same um, for weeks like the, uh, these are not going to ferment for weeks like the, the sauerkraut because we still want them to be a little crispy. And I already forgot. I want to add in some of that crystallized ginger. I want that on the bottom. So we'll start over with this. So the crystallized ginger, I'm gonna load in a layer on the bottom. 
And then I will add my carrots in. This will give it a sweet kind of tangy flavor, sweet and tangy with the fermentation. So it's gonna be about that length. This is a little too long. Hey, I'm new. Uh, Mamba Box, I'm new. Good morning. Good morning to you. I'm going to check out your channel right now so we can uh, get some promotion for you going. There you are. Okay. I'm going to read your about. I'm so excited about this. Hello, nine people in the house, six thumbs up. So here is uh, Mamba Mamba Bucks about. I support all those that support me. Spread love, not hate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of the new posts. I would greatly appreciate it. She's on uh, Mamba Bucks is on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And the video, she's got six hot she, I'm assuming this is right. McCoy Hill Farms, Oak Hill Farms, hello. I love carrots too. Um, looks like a gaming channel, is that right, Mamba Bucks? Yes, looks like a gaming channel. It looks really interesting. So I am going to go ahead and do the first time playing Fortnite in a year video. I'm going to comment. Thank you for finding me. This looks really fun. I look forward to watching your channel grow. Mamba Bucks, you and I are now connected. I look forward to watching your content. I've just started really learning to appreciate gaming channels. I don't know how you guys can do it. You can sit there forever and play. But sometimes I get all wrapped up in it. So anyway, let's keep going. So we cut that one in half. And in half again. Huh? What happened? Please tell Julia that I'm going to be stuck to her. In other words, she's going to um, subscribe to you. Oh, well, thank you. Julia says thank you. I don't post anything, but you know. Um, <laughs> Julia doesn't do any content as of, as of yet, so go ahead and uh, check her out, but there's nothing to check out, really. So um, she's a lovely human being. Okay. Getting that. Okay. It's good. We're going to get that packed in there. We can get a couple more carrots in there. Then, then you guys, we're going to make the 2% brine. I'll show you how to do that. I did buy a digital scale for the house so that we can do it uh, uh, accurately. Um, and then for the ginger that I'm going to grate, I bought a new grater um, because it collects the grating. And so I thought it was pretty cool. Here we go. That's not enough. Squiggle pants. Squiggly, squiggly. That's too big. You, um, you guys, you want your carrots smaller, uh, slice smaller than larger. Um, it's okay if it is, if it's thin. You just don't want it to be like this fat. This might actually do it. Okay, it's been raining. Oh my gosh. It's been downpours, downpours. 
Thank you. I hit the like button, but it didn't tell me what number I was. It's not going to because I don't display my um, my ratings numbers. So you're here and you hit the like button and it says I have seven thumbs up. So if you have not done that yet, please go ahead and do that for me. Yeah, it's not going to tell you that on my channel. There's two reasons for that. One... Um, the ratings are only important for me to go, oh, yay, people like me. Uh, YouTube doesn't necessarily care whether it's this or this. I do, but YouTube doesn't. What they want to know is that people are uh, being interactive with, um, with the content. Um, so I didn't want my viewers to be distracted by the number of thumbs down. I had a for a while there, I had a number of people coming in. I had a number of people coming into my channel who were mischievous. Um, you all know this. And it was disruptive to my live stream. So I just went ahead and got rid of the rating system. I can see who has done. I mean, I can see how many I have. I don't know how many have um, done it. So anyway. I can still pack in just a few more carrots. So I have one more carrot that I'm going to do that with. Who just came in? I've been trouble getting my hay made. Oh, my God. Yes, it's so wet. It's wet. I don't want to say it's, you know, I don't want to start a challenge about global warming or anything, but I think it's uh, becoming, something's becoming evident in Minnesota. The weather is changing. Now, those are a little bit short, but they will fit in to these tight spaces. That's the purpose of that. Okay, another little shorty in there. Okay, I think, you know, you guys, I think that's good. What's wrong with a carrot for breakfast? Okay. Got this going on. I need to make a 19% salt brine. So the way I'm going to do that, not 19%, 2% salt brine. So the way I'm going to do that is to get a quart, another quart jar, and get um, and weigh out 19 grams of salt on this scale, this new digital scale I got. So it'll be helpful if I have a jar. Actually, I can use this for now. So. Our water is pretty good in Park Rapids, full of minerals and really good for ferments. So I don't filter it because it isn't treated. So one quart of water, and I will go ahead and scale this right now. Put that on there and we'll start over. Unit. I need grams. Come on. There we go. And now I can just weigh in 19 grams of salt. Let's do it this way. <sighs> okay, scale that out. There we go. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, eleven, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, 
19. You can't see it, but 19 grams of salt goes right away into the water. So this will make a 2% salt brine. You want to stir that until the salt dissolves, and then we're going to pour that over this, but we're going to grate some ginger first. I have a lot of water modification done, but several companies across the globe and ramifications are very high. I see it here on a daily basis. So the ocean temperatures are rising and every, and even by a degree or two, can have massive and potentially catastrophic effects, but that will cause changes in various climates around the world, of course. Also affects the Arctic vortex, which is why we had the polar vortex. So, in practical applications, it means many places it's colder or warmer or abnormal in any case, climate change, overall warming. Plus, one company in just is just in Fargo, North Dakota. Wow, you guys, dropping knowledge. So when this becomes clear, that's when I will use it. So you're headed out, Julia? Yeah. And you um, have a car. You have a car. Lynn is and the sun is out. Yes. For about two hours or 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay, it's becoming clearer. You can see that. When it's clear is when we will use it. So right now I'm going to set this aside to finish doing its do. And I'm going to grate some ginger. I do not have to peel this ginger because it's organic and I've already rinsed it. So um, let's go ahead and, and start grating it. Oops, we want something underneath that, that's for sure. How much ginger I use is not... It has nothing to do with how well it's going to ferment. It's just how much ginger flavor I want. So I usually like about two tablespoons. So you can see it's it's dropping down on the inside there. There we go. I think I think that's about as much as I want. I'll do this over here. Okay, so you see, there we go. And now I just pop this out and there it is. There's my ginger. How much do I want? I don't know. That's more than two tablespoons. So I'm just going to drop that down in there. It's about, there we go. And where's my salt brine? Is it ready? Is it ready? Does that look clear to you? It looks clear to me. There we go. So the carrots are really packed in there. The only thing that's going to float probably is the ginger, and I'm not quite worried about that. We have this 2% salt brine made out of uh, one quart of water with 19 grams of salt. We're going to pour it over the top. and cover the carrots, push those down. That one, you know what, those are a little tall, but there we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ferment these for about, I'm still here, thank you, Alicia. 
We're going to ferment this for about five days at the most. We're going to put it up high. I don't need to use an airlock because I'm going to use a um, small lid that's slightly uh, loose, and then I'm going to shake it up every day. So I can do that for five days. If you were asking me to do that for three weeks, I would find a tiny airlock for this, but I don't have to worry about that. So... So we're going to put this on here and we're going to seal it slightly so that air can still escape. Okay. Every day we're going to shake it up and every day we're going to go to let the, uh, to let the um, uh, carbon di dioxide, carbon dioxide, out, not monoxide. We're not, <laughs> nope. Ow. Okay. So these are going to come out really good. I, these are going to be tasty. They're going to, you'll just be able to eat them like pickles. So this goes up on high. So it gets a little bit warm. So we're going to put it up in the fermentation place up there with something under it. In case it does bubble over. And every day I'm gonna take this down and I'm gonna release the carbon dioxide. I might have to do that more than once a day, but I'm also gonna shake it up to make sure that um, the good bacteria is getting to all of the stuff. So these are gonna be so good with that crystallized ginger on the bottom and then the ginger all around it on top. Oh, you guys, nummy. Yes, we're going to eat those like pickles. I'm excited. All right, who else is here? Oops, ding, ding, LOL. Yep. Uh -huh. Do you ever sauerkraut with something like Swiss chard? You know, um, who is that? That was Lynx Acres. I did the Napa cabbage. You were here. Um, I have never done um, sauerkraut with... I did a Swiss chard one time. The leaves got a little... I think it was only a week that they, I fermented them, but the leaves got um, pretty slimy, not slimy, but um, wil super wilted. So there was very little crunch to it. Might have been the way I did it. That might be it. It might have been the way I did it. So um, I need to put this over here. And you guys, I haven't had my coffee, so I'm going to sit for a moment and enjoy your company. Because I haven't dropped knowledge. No, I have not. Those of you who have been with me know that the bee lady, Apiary, gave me a couple books. This one, The Art of Fermentation, which Lynx Acres wants me to get into. I have not done baby bok choy. Yeah, ding, ding. Looks like Julia's leaving. I'm out of here, bye. Say bye to Julia. Bye. To have a mini nap for 20 minutes. Okay, Lynx Acres, I'm going to drop knowledge. So, so the bee lady gave me these books for my birthday. Um, it was so kind of her. It was so unexpected. I got home and suddenly they were uh, right on the 14th or on the 15th. No, on the 14th. I got them on Sunday. Um, these two hard copies came and this one has been the most astounding to me. This one has been the most astounding. It's as a man thinketh. And every day my plan is just to, every day my plan is just to open it up, find a paragraph and read it. Okay. Oh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Just read it, you know, because I'm finding that on every every paragraph is pro profound. Now, now I don't want to read the super long ones, but here's one. Just open it up. Page twenty nine. 
So this is a, the effect of the chapter is the effect of circumstance. A particular train of thought persisted in, be it good or bad, cannot fail to produce its results on the character and circumstances. <laughs> Okay, talk about spoiling the moment, but she doesn't know, right? She has no idea. Protesting, right? Okay. A man cannot directly choose his circumstances, but he can choose his thoughts. A man cannot directly choose his circumstances, but he can uh, uh, choose his thoughts. And so indirectly, yet surely shape his circumstances. You guys. I mean, what? Every paragraph is like this. Let me read that again. A thought, a particular train of thought persisted in, be it good or bad, cannot fail to produce its results on the character and circumstances. A man cannot directly choose his circumstances. I was adopted. Things happen. But he can choose his thoughts and so indirectly yet surely shape his circumstances. What? Every paragraph in this book, in this tiny little book, which is meant to be carried in the pocket, is like, it's, it's making you go, hmm, I've seen and experienced that, right? It makes you not just go, hmm, it, it's like, oh, wait, that's, that makes sense. So it's a, I think the purpose of as a man thinketh, is to help you uh, exercise your mind in a way that would shape your future the way you want it to be shaped. So with that said, have a cup of coffee, think on that. And if you would share out the live, I've got this. I don't need this going on this computer anymore. I can't use that one. If you would share out the live, I'd really appreciate it. Share it out. And um, we're here. I'm just going to do this one more time. We're here. Come on. We're here. And live, love, and learn. Hmm. We're Here, come on through. You know, sometimes I think thumbnails have a lot to do with whether people are going to come through or not because um, the thumb, I, I got to tell you, the thumbnail with the chicken, shared out the live. Thank you, Boss Life. The <laughs> thumbnail with the chicken, where I was having a conversation with the chicken, I mean, that was amazing. Anyway. So um, I think we should get working on some sauerkraut. I'm doing this not for me, but because Gail, who uh, is my host this summer, really does, um, really does like sauerkraut and she loves fresh sauerkraut and she also needs it for her gut health. So I drank my tea, good for you. Oh, and I found the tea. Oh, Kill, you were, uh, McCoy, uh, McCoy, McCoy's Oak Hill Farm. You were not here yesterday when I was like, where's my tea? First of all, I didn't have sound and then I couldn't find my tea. Oh, it was a mess. Lana is good. Oh, oh, Liana is good. Yes. All right. So we dropped our knowledge. We'll get to this sometime. Um, with that salt brine, the 19% or 2% salt brine. I made a whole quart and I probably used, I used, um, I used a cup of it. 
So with three cups of it, I can I can put this in the refrigerator. It'll last just fine. Davida Lane, thank you for coming in. Thumbnails do make a difference. I may have to change. You know, I was like, oh my God, I'm running out of time. Here's a cabbage. Right? Have enough for kraut then. Yes. Well, you know what? If uh if the sauerkraut creates enough of its own brine, then I don't have to use this, but it's good to have it on hand. It's good to have it on hand. All right. So also, uh, well, I'll, I'll wait for that. Um, so let's look at what mess we have and get started on the purple cabbage. So with the purple cabbage, I have a really beautiful cabbage. It's organic. And I want you to notice the um, on the outside, it looks like it has powder on it. This is not powder. This is uh, the natural yeast that um, come with, uh, with cabbage. Cabbage is one of the most easily fermented vegetables because of its, its natural yeast that just hang out there. So... My cabbage plants are small yet, and they need weeding. Um, well, I will tell you, I think this is a uh, cabbage from um, someplace south because nobody in Minnesota has cabbage this big yet. So um, let's, I need to clean out, clean off my space a little bit. And you know the first thing we want to do is remove these outer leaves so that we can use them. We can use them um, as the to hold uh, the shredded cabbage under the brine. I want to take off all of the outer ones that are off the head. I have a puppy screaming for me again. So now it looks kind of small, right? This is good because then we will be able to get this all into a quart sized jar. If you will pardon me and thank you for your patience, I have a puppy that needs to come inside because it started raining again and she doesn't like the rain. Would you like to come in? guys down the basement with me because I don't want to use a dark jar for this. Okay. I am going to go get a clear jar and we now know where the clear jars are, right? I, there's not a jar in this house. Ugh. Are you coming with us, puppy? Amelia. Amelia. She's so cute. All right, this is a beautiful space down here. Lots of kids play down here. Um, Gail has now two grandchildren and they love to play in grandma's basement. Gail is 10 years younger than me. All right, I need a wide mouth jar and I will have to sanitize this. There we go. It's raining here too. We know uh, we know are about an hour plus southeast of Park Rapids. You guys are getting the worst of it. Um, we had a little band of it, but it was horrible. Oh, you're eating cat food. Get out of there. And she ate all the cat food. What do I expect? Yeah, you guys are getting the worst of it. I guarantee that. Um, there was a big swath down by you that was just straight up red. So I need to 
Watch this jar. <laughs> I'm gonna put hot water in this and, oh, I'm dark. Put hot water in this and put this in the microwave. Um, it's a faster, it's a fast way to sanitize it, so. We'll do that while we cut the cabbage. So we have our cabbage leaves, right? We have our cabbage leaves, we're gonna put those aside. We have our cabbage and we're gonna cut the core out and then we are going to um, get it into the jar. Let's put this off to the side. There we go. And still need our garbage bowl. So. Um, I'm off to Highway 64 of Motley. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know exactly where you are. Okay, that knife is too small. Sometimes when you're not in your own kitchen, the equipment is so different. Yep, so we're gonna take the core out. So the core must be bigger on this side. That was easy. And not the heavy knife. There we go. And we'll save that. All right, so have you been to Leadership Pig Acres? No, I have not. It's raining here. Yep, okay, no, I have not been to Leadership Pig Acres. I don't actually know where that is, to tell you the truth. All right, uh, I'm gonna move you a little bit this way and we're just gonna slice and it might get all over the place, you guys. I'm gonna do my best to keep this a clean kitchen. Sometimes though, when slicing sour uh, cabbage, it flies all over the place. Okay. That is sanitized, so. Nice and thin, you guys, nice and thin. An example of thin. Am I buffering? You guys, am I buffering? Oh no, I just stopped it. <laughs> okay, I'm not buffering. I just stopped my own stream. Okay, there you go. All right, so. Every now and then I'm just going to stop. I'm going to put it into right in there. Okay. Some pieces may be a little bigger. That's okay. Um, just as long as it's as thin as you can possibly make it. Davida Lane. Okay. I am not right. I had access um, on my other computer which I can read because I can read it better. Um, but it, on my other computer, it was, uh, I didn't realize I had stopped the stream. Try to get those strands separated. So we're looking at There we go. Take that piece off. Thin as possible. Thin as 
possible. Now you can shred this in your food processor, but I don't necessarily like to do that because I don't have, um, I like to be, I like to touch my food. Sorry. I like to be able to touch it. And when I put it in the food processor, I feel um, a little bit detached from it. <laughs> now I'll use a microwave, right? So there's, there's no logical reason for me not using a food processor. I'll use a microwave. Alyssa, I'm not able to eat coleslaw, too bitter and stringy for me. Are you able to eat sauerkraut because the, the leaves have been transformed and they're softer? Um, and easier to chew. So that might be something to consider, but maybe it's not something you can eat. Um, I have never jarred. I'm always afraid to make my, make my sterilize right away. Always also afraid of botulism. I can understand that. I just saw an article about a woman who was canning and did not can properly, did not follow the, um, the instructions and uh, ended up in the hospital with botulism for weeks. Now, fer fermentation is a completely different process, um, and you have to you need to follow the salt the the salt brine rules or the salting rules, and you need to also um, make sure to get rid of molds. Molds are Molds are what you need to worry about with fermentation, not necessarily botulism. Well, Davida Lane, here you go, sauerkraut. And um, fermented foods are one of the safest ways to preserve, preserve your, um, your vegetables. I need to look up botulism and ferment, fermentation. Um, that botulism has more to do with the canning process than the fermentation process. So, all right. Almost done here with half of it and I will. Then we have another half to cut up. I may need two jars because we'll see. You know, every time I say we'll need two jars, I actually don't. So I will have one on the ready for sure, but I don't think I'll need two jars. And on um, teeth. Okay. I'm not able to eat coleslaw, too bitter and stringy for me. I read that. I love cabbage, but I'm not a fan of coleslaw. I don't like coleslaw either, unless I don't like creamy coleslaw. I do like a, a almost a pickled coleslaw that with made with um, vinegar, oil and vinegar, or oil and lemon, or something sour. Okay, let's get this in here. All right, on to the second half. So we have, it looks like we have a lot of cabbage. We really don't. Once we get this salted, it's going to shrink down. And I know if you've seen any of my fermentation videos from before, you see how much water comes out of this. Let's let you see this. So as thin as possible, remember that. You guys, I also like to use a very flexible, um, flexible cutting board because it allows me to pour the the stuff rather than scoop uh, pour the vegetable into the into the whatever I'm putting it in container bowl. So, like, pick it up. It's so much easier to just do that, right? So in salting, in salting the, um, the cabbage, 
I usually, for one head of cabbage, I usually use two tablespoons of salt. But in reading, um, uh, not the Art of Fermentation, but another fermentation book, because I haven't finished, I haven't read the Art of Fermentation yet, but another fermentation book, um, if you salt your cabbage to taste, so if it tastes good in the unfermented state, it's going to taste good in the fermented state. But I would suggest that you do not use less than two tablespoons of salt per head of cabbage because you still want to consider how the um, cabbage is going to, excuse me, how the salt is going to uh, help ward off bad bacteria. So if you don't have enough, uh, you'll probably get some mold. You won't get botulism. I can't, I, I'm not stating that as a fact. I'm stating it as a belief. It's not a fact, it's a belief. Because I haven't looked up botulism. I just read an article about botulism and canning. So we're going to save that for later. Cut this. All right. Quite the mess here. So you guys, here you go. Sexy is still in the house. Thank you for being here. Here you go. It's a pretty big bowl. I'm going to um, take out a tablespoon measure, sprinkle it over the top, and we're going to get some, um, I thought it was here. We we're going to get some salt over the top and put a weight on it. I'm walking around because, again, I'm not in my own kitchen. So I always use kosher salt. You can use pink Himalayan salt. Um, I Pink Himalayan salt tends to be um, minerally tasting and uh, it's heavier. So just be aware of that. So here's one tablespoon. I'm going to put just a little bit more and get that mixed through. The salt is going to start drawing out the, uh, the liquid and it will, um, it'll begin to produce its own brine. Kids, fun time. Uh, hello, Simple Life. You missed comments. I'm missing them now. Botulism, a bacteria. So I miss eating sauerkraut. I bet you do. Himalayan salt. Some people like that. I love cabbage. Okay. All right. It's already starting to become shiny, which means I don't want to get, which means it's already starting to release its fluid. So um, I will I will check the comments in just a second. Looking yummy. Thank you, Boss Life Online. You guys, if you don't know Geo, she is amazing. She is really, I mean, she is she's one of the people that keeps me going. I'm gonna put that on top along with Cans are always good weights. This will start to help the, um, put some pressure on the cabbage to start releasing its brine. So with that done, you guys, I can sit for a minute. I can sit for a minute and look at you. I still have one. Oh, good. Trucker Z, how are you? We're making sauerkraut. Um, we just did, I'll, I'll get the jar. We just did some fermented cab, uh, carrots. So, you know, I'm all about the fermentation, right? So God bless the stream. Thank you. So today we, um, the first thing we did 
was we took some carrots, cut them thin, put some crystallized ginger on the bottom, which is really good for digestion. Um, and then we made a 2% salt brine with 19 grams of salt per quart of water. So we made just one quart of, of uh, salt brine. We ground up some, or we grated some um, ginger and put that on top and then we poured the brine in. This is gonna sit on the counter for about five days, or I'm putting it up in the fermentation station, the upper one, so it's a little bit warmer up there because do you know, I know I haven't done the weather report, but you've heard it's raining. It's only 67 degrees here in Park Rapids today. Only 67 degrees. You missed comments. Okay, what comments did, okay. Simple life, I'll go back. So hi, hello. What are you making? I'm going over it right now. I love cabbage, we're making sauerkraut. It's hot out today, oh, it's 67 degrees here. It's Himalayan salt, I love Himalayan salt, but I like to use kosher salt because it's not as heavy, it doesn't have as many flavors. Uh, what else, Trucker Z, God, God bless. Oh, so just south of me, not too far, it's 71. Okay, so just to finish on this simple life, um, we uh, we poured the salt brine over. We're going to every day for five days. We're going to shake it up, and we're going to let we're going to go and let the um, carbon dioxide out so that it doesn't explode because there is a process going on in this jar. We're not going to go more than five. Um, we're not going to go more than five days because we want these to stay crunchy. We want them to be infused with those probiotics, but we don't want it to get sour or otherwise. Um, we don't want it to turn into a carrot kraut. We want it to be a transformed flavor. So that's what we're doing here. We just got done with the with preparing, mostly preparing the purple sauerkraut. We're letting the weight sit on it to help the um, sour, uh, the cabbage release its brine. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna. It takes about <coughs> ten minutes to get it initially going. Then another ten minutes, and then we put it into the jar. I'm making another batch of purple sauerkraut for my host because she is. Um, because she is in love with fermented sauerkraut. She doesn't have time. She's doing, she's done two shows this summer and her husband I think is on her third, his third show. So these are theater people. So because they're my hosts, I am happy to do this for them. So let's do a weather report. Okay, I got it back up there. So it's funny when it rains, my nose is not as bad. My allergies are not as bad. I think it takes down, I think the grass pollens are gone now. Oh, it's dried out a little bit. And it's chilly. Yep, it's about 67 degrees. Um, we just had torrential downpours, literally torrential downpours. I'm not kidding about that. And, um, you know, it's drying out a little bit for a while. I do believe we have more storms coming in in a little bit. But it's beautifully green, right? Isn't that gorgeous? Look at these plants. The flag is still a mess. I can't fix it. It's not mine. I should, you know. So looks like we might get a break from 11 p.m. to about 3 p.m. 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. until the rain starts up again. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys in the other parts of the United States are struggling with the weather, but we've had so much rain. Now, we had some beautiful days. Those of you that have been out here with me know that. So I'm out on the deck in the beautiful backyard of um, my host's uh, home, and it's gorgeous, uh, but we haven't... I wish we had a... A girl like you. Facts. <laughs> English teacher in France. You guys, this is a new friend of mine. Hi, teacher, teacher. She's a new friend of mine. I found her in, um, I don't know if it was, it wasn't Gordy Bob's. 
it was one of Gordy Bob's uh, moderators live streams and I forgot her name, but um, please check her out. She's awesome. She's fun. The green plants are the beauty of the summer. <coughs> you got me so excited. <coughs> wow. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> so we have a break. Oh, look, look, blue sky. It had been raining. Oh my God. It rained from, I don't know what time McCoy, hit, uh, Oak Hill farm. It started here about three o'clock in the morning and it was thundering and lightning. So my goodness, when I go to work tonight, you know, I have to work until like 10. I'm going to be exhausted. Oh, poor Amelia. So it looks like we're going to be okay. If you look off over there, that's what we had. <laughs> that's what we had. But I'm coming, Amelia. Don't worry. Do you? I think now would be a good time to let Amelia out. I think you should go outside because it's beautiful. What do you think, Amelia? Do you think you should go outside? I think you should go outside. I do. Let's send the picture. There, it's really beautiful out. Go chase a rabbit. Go get a rabbit. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. So, yeah, the weather's been weird, We're, but we're here. So, to, totally not the norm for this time of year. No, nope, not at all. It is very funny here. Great weather, but looks gloomy there. Oh, uh, we had some weather. We just had some weather. So, mm. I did not put a timer on. How many minutes do you think it's been since I... Um, since I put the salt on. I'm gonna say four minutes. I'm gonna say four minutes. So I'm gonna put a timer on right now. Um, kitchen timer, six, start. Okay. Maybe a little more, it's not gonna hurt. But, you know, I could be working on the other cabbage. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna work on that other cabbage. Totally not the norm, that's true. Carter's Eat, Lisa, hello. My luck, my luck, you know that text I sent you? My luck held out for about two minutes after the la last text I sent you, and then boom. But it was just one, so uh, we're doing good. Cabbage and carrots sound delicious. Um, did you see, Lisa, did you see the carrots? I'm not going to go through all of it again. I just shared with tr Trucker G, uh, Trucker Z, what I did. Oh, I need. But um, I'm making a can. Uh, I was going to say candy ginger, but crystallized ginger. Where did my stool go? There it is. I'm making a crystallized ginger fermented carrot, but it's only going to ferment. <laughs> for five days so it doesn't um, get that funky sauerkraut flavor. It's just gonna enhance. I might as well just keep this down in case other folks come in. It's just gonna enhance the flavor of the carrot and transform it in a way that's gonna make you think that you're in heaven. So here it is. It looks kind of cloudy because that's the fresh ginger right there. Um, but we made a 2% salt brine with uh, 19 grams of salt and one quart of water. And then you can see the crystallized ginger right down here. So that's gonna sweeten this up. We're gonna get a really nice candy flavor. Hey, and English teacher in France, my whole channel is about, um, there's three things. And then I do other stuff, but gluten-free cooking because I um, can't eat wheat egg-free too, except for I discovered I could eat uh, duck eggs. So gluten-free cooking, fermentation, hence beyond sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is a fermented vegetable. And then new cooks. I'm not doing a lot of new cooks this summer because I don't have any requests from my students. So, wow, we'll take it. Oh, crystallized ginger. Oh. And 
Carter's Eat. This is what I should do a review on, but not tonight, not today, but because I've just been eating it like candy. It's delicious. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Deborah Mosley, good to see you. Thank you for coming in. This. Oh, uh, McCoy Oak Hill Farm. My husband is experiencing weather related illnesses. Never been sick in his life. Now, if he gets hot, his skin breaks up. Oh, it is amazing. And believe it or not, this is like, this is a pound. It's now real foods. It's a pound and it only cost me, well, some people think this is expensive. It only cost me $8 for a pound of crystallized ginger. Now, when I buy, I, I know that in the cities, I would have paid, I would have paid 16, 16 an ounce. Dang it. And it's ginger. It is amazing. I could just, I could eat it all day, but it's got a lot of sugar. So, mm. so the plan for the rest of the hour for the next <clears throat> 45 minutes is to get this uh, purple sauerkraut done and into a jar. Why did I only bring one jar up? And then work on the green, green sauerkraut. Now, if you can, you guys, I keep saying this, but if you would like to, please share out the live. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I need to change my thumbnail because holding a cabbage and going, huh, is not, is not attractive. But anyway, um, if you can share out the live and then we'll keep working on the, on the sauerkraut. The reason I'm making so much sauerkraut is because my host adores it adores sauerkraut, especially my fermented sauerkraut. Watery mouth here. <laughs> yes. I am that wonderful paramenopausal stage of life. Um, cheers to that. I think there are, you're t I think you're preaching to the choir here. I have to be careful about getting too hot due to other things. Yeah, I, yeah. So I was talking about my husband. He last year he was out at a, I'll just say this real quick. He was out at a festival. He was out at a festival um in 102 degree heat and he was going to drink beer but he didn't. Thank God he didn't. And uh sage tea. Hmm. Uh he drank lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of water but then guess what? He stopped sweating. Guess what that means? He's beyond heat. Um, he is. He was in a heat stroke. He stopped sweating, but he continued to be there. So what ended up happening is he uh, he was not well. He was sick for a couple days. Oh, I've been talking for six minutes. Okay. Uh, anyway, he ended up, his immune system dropped. And he ended up actually getting pneumonia in the middle of June. That pneumonia knocked him off his butt and his system for months on end. Now, he's, he survived the pneumonia. He survived the pneumonia. He did, you know, he recovered from it. But uh, ever since then, now he has, when it gets hot, he gets hives. When he, uh, he has recently gotten gout and all of this stuff. Hello, Karen at home. I'm not, I'm not home. This is, I'm back here in Park Rapids. I will be home in, oh, you're home. I'm slow. Sorry, B lady, you're home. Yay. Hello, I'm so glad you're here, B lady. <clears throat> we already dropped knowledge from as a man thinketh. And I'm still, you know, the, I'm looking through the Bible. Oh my gosh. You know, um, some people have kids. You 
win. Come on in. You win. You win. Some people have kids. Amelia. Why don't you go lay down? Go lay down. Go lay down. No. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Good dog. Please thumbs up the live. Thank you. Karen has a doggy kid. Right. And it's not even mine. I'm, it's not my dog. Okay, so let me wash my hands because, you know, dog. Because of that, I am also not going to, sorry, the window is bright. I am also not going to um, use my bare hands to work with the sauerkraut. I'm gonna use gloves. I always use gloves, but when I when you have an animal, you guys, um, this is common sense, but some people don't know that it's common sense. When you have an animal and you pet them, please wash your hands before you deal with any kind of food, please. English... Cheers, I'm having a cocktail here at my husband's bar. Oh, lovely. Cheers to you, my dear. Cheers, absolutely. Let's get working on this. And thank you for watching at your husband's bar. Okay, so you can see, you can see that the plate is wet with purple. That's because it is releasing, it's starting to release its brine. So, so it's releasing its fluid and what we need to do is coax the, more of it out of it by squeezing it. I'm gonna taste it for salt. Now I only have a one tablespoon, one tablespoon and one teaspoon in there. So, um, and you can see how one teaspoon in there and I will probably add the rest of the two tablespoons because this make sure it equals two tablespoons because this is a bigger cabbage. Oh, now you can see it coming out, right? You can see it dripping. So this is probably all gonna fit in one jar. This, um, by the way, if you have some aggression to get out, this is a really safe way to get out the aggression. Squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. All right. That's good. I'm going to add more salt. I need to taste it first. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. It does need more salt. Yeah. Okay. It does need, you can taste that it needs more salt. And just, so I added two tablespoons or teaspoons more. Gonna mix that in and put the plate back on top with the weights. You guys, it really is this easy. It really is this easy. If you would, share out the live. Okay. Gonna take those off. Put the weight back on. 
See how much it, it was up here before. Now we're already an inch down. More weight, more weight, more weight. There we go. Help coax that out. Car to seat buffer. Oh, am I? Shoot. I did not know that. Am I still buffering? Please uh, refresh. It may help. Is it all good? Because I lost everyone. Are you back? Did you refresh? Sometimes you have to refresh. We did, we did have some storms come through, and we also have some winds coming through right now. Woo, it's been bad. Not here. Okay, I am here. Okay, thank you, B-Lady. So, B-Lady, you weren't here when I read it, but I'll read it again because it is profound. And I know you know this because you sent it to me. This is what came to me today. And remember, I'm just opening up the book. I'm going to read this again, you guys. Um, so I just opened up the book and it came to page 29. And it says, a particular train of thought persisted in, be it good or bad, cannot fail to produce its results on the character and circumstances. A man cannot directly choose his circumstances, but he can choose his thoughts and so indirectly yet surely shape his circumstances. So B lady, that was our thought for today. And that I'm gonna do this every day. And I believe, this is what I believe about this. I believe that this, um, that this book is meant for you to train your brain, okay? I believe it's meant to train your brain. And I think it does it effectively. I think it does it incredibly effectively because every paragraph has a profound thought. I'm just sharing this out one more time. Wednesday is always particularly hard for some reason. Anyway, sounds simple, right? Haha, <laughs> folks take off in that direction and their mind takes over, right? I know. I know. Okay. It is all good now. I am alone now, LOL. You're alone? No, what do you mean? Carter Z, did you leave me? Lisa, did you leave me? Okay. Yeah, it sounds simple, but it's not. Getting people to think, even me, you know, I mean, if I am astounded by each one of those thoughts, then Case, here's my girl, B-Lady, do you know Casey? I try to take a walk with her every morning now. McCoy Oak Hill Farms, Carter's Eat, all yo. If you don't know Casey Detox Diva, she's got a new business she started. Um, as we think we change the physical nature of our brain, we are consciously direct our thinking. We can wire out toxic patterns of thought, thinking, and replace them with healthy thoughts. Casey Detox Diva, we, we did another reading from here. And if you don't have this book, Miss, uh, the bee lady uh, sent, gave it to me for my um, birthday. And um, if you don't have it, go to, get it. Go to page 29 and read the top paragraph. Do you remember KC and the Sunshine Band? Everybody our age remembers KC and the Sunshine Band. Everybody. Okay. <clears throat> I forgot to put on the timer again. So, hey, all sister K Karen. Hello to all sisters and brothers in the chat. Hello to all people in the chat. So happy to see you all. Thank you for coming in. K uh, Casey, if you'd like to share it out, I'd be happy if you did so. Um, uh, just to reiterate, and then we'll go on. Right now, Casey, we're making some sauerkraut. 
we did the um, we did the purple, and we're in the process of process of <clears throat> getting it to release its own bride. Kate read that same book in 1960. I bet it's been out forever. If I, if we look at it, copyright. I think the copy first copyright was in the 50s, wasn't it? Because my dad has this. I just never paid attention. My dad was a minister. And a, originally, you guys are, it's been out that long? Originally published in 1902. Originally published in 1902. My dad, I think my dad. Where'd y'all go? Way older than all of us. Kate and I had a deep chat about it in your chat a few days ago. We buffered again. Oh, okay. I, I'm really sorry about that, McCoy Oak Hill Farm. I think... The problem is um, the weather, and I was unaware of that. I did. I have to keep this open on um, this side so I know when I'm buffering. Your dad had that book, and your dad was led to you. Yes, yes. I just refreshed. Okay, so you guys, if you buffer, I, we're having we're even though it's sunny outside, we're having some winds. So please go ahead and refresh. And if that doesn't work, um, uh, I'm I'm trying. I'm trying, you guys. I'm really trying. Um, yeah, my dad had to read this as a part of his seminary training uh, <coughs> in the fifties. So, um, and then he had he had a number of of these books on hand. Good bee lady. I need to put the, t you know what? Somebody time me for four minutes because I think that's what I have left. I just refer, okay. So um, Casey Detox Diva, this is, this will detox your brain. This is important. And then at some point, you guys, I promise I will spend more time with this, but I think this is gonna have to be when I get home. So Kate and I were having so much fun, and she agreed with me that book comes to you when you are ready. Must be, you know, I might have I might have been ready for Karen and I are sharing stormy weather. That's true. Your dad probably gave them out to folks he was counseling. Uh, sure, probably. <laughs> I can imagine um, if he had a budget to do that, but. The church may have had a budget. I'm at work, so I'm just listening. Okay, T Casey. Okay, not chatting, must. Okay. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I did catch your walk this morning and replay, and listen to the whole thing. You guys, if you get a chance, if you get a chance to catch Casey Detox Diva on her morning walks, um, she is really she's preaching to folks in the most profound way, not in a way that makes you feel that you're doing something wrong, but in a way that helps you do something better. She doesn't spend a lot of time focusing on what people, other people are doing to you or like, she's not talking about don't let those folks do this. Don't let those folks do that. She's talking about what you can do, what you can do to help better your circumstances. This is also true, you guys, for um, living your best life. She has motivational moments in the morning. Trisha's motivational mo moments is good, too. I have had your channel for a long time. You live in uh, time. Are you live in the morning? She is. She is, and I think it's the same she is the same time you are. So I'm thinking she's live. Normally it's eight. Her, she's in Florida. So normally it's eight your time. It's seven my time. 
But this today, the reason I missed it is because she went for her walk at seven, um, which was six my time. And I, I'm sorry, I was asleep. <laughs> boss life was probably asleep too. Is boss life gone? She got me on or she, no. Okay. I am 68. I am a 68 model, LOL. McCoy Hill, I got you beat there. Okay, so I'm thinking, has 10 minutes gone by? I think 10 minutes have gone by. Um, love this. No, I go on, I go about 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. Eastern time. So that's six or seven my time, central time. So anyway, catch her, and if you don't have her, please make sure you connect with her because it is, she just makes you feel good. Live your best life. Hey, I loved your premiere this morning. Even when we couldn't hear you because of the wind, that was only for like a tiny moment. I loved it. It brought up some really profound questions for me. Like, you were talking about are you walking in your purpose? Are you doing are you doing what you need to do? The profound question is what is your purpose? And for me, do you only have one purpose? You know what I'm saying? What is your purpose? I wanted to get you a general fermenting book and since you know not I know nothing about fermentation, it was a mission. Hey, and it's the Bible. I have, um, I had wild fermentation. I had wild fermentation, but I didn't have the art of fermentation, which is the book. What is your purpose? I don't know. Bilal, how are you? Good to see you. So glad you're here. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Bilal is new to my channel, or at least new to my live stream. Um, I would like very much if you guys would greet him accordingly. Um, Bilal, this is what I do when new people come into my uh, stream. I read their about so everybody can get a chance to know what they're about. But you don't have anything in your about, so I'm going to go to your home and look at what your videos are about. I see music. I see animals. I see construction, and I am guessing you are in Turkey. Am I correct? Because I see Istanbul. Where are you from, uh, Bilal? I often ponder that question myself. Sometimes I think the purpose has not started yet. I, I think you have a purpose the, mo the moment you're born. I really do. I don't know if there's this divine. I don't, I, I have different beliefs than many of you. I don't know if there's this divine purpose or if you have a purpose that grows, that there's a seed of a purpose. This could go on forever, you guys. We could really get into this. Yes, Turkey, I knew it. Okay, so you guys, Bilal is from Turkey. He doesn't have an about section but he has 475 subscribers and it looks like, let me see how many videos. He has a number of videos. So he's a new channel and um, it looks like most of your, most of your videos or all of your videos are in Turkish, right? Yeah. Is it Turkish? Um, so when I watch these videos, when I watch these videos, I will spend a lot of time like, visual uh looking at what it is because i won't understand it so it uh looks like most of your videos have a lot of views so that's good i feel your purpose changes with your personal growth you know what living your best life that is that is really true i mean i i believe that too but i think there's i think you're i think there's like you create an overall purpose throughout your whole life. And then there are all of these components in there. 
I, I think that's fascinating. Sometimes I think I'm just hanging out and doing what I need to until the time is right. Um, I did that too. I did that too. And then, um, nice to be with you, my friend. Yes, yes. Let me do one thing, you guys, and then uh, we will be connected below. Okay, so I, I believe that you create a number of experiences that create your purpose, and that happens with your personal growth. And then... Um, there we go. We're connected. And I can't wait to see your content. Living your best life. You know your purpose, but unless you are there yet mentally and spiritually, you will miss the book. Hold on. Hold the light here on earth. It makes sense. Yes. Alone. Of, all right. So um, you guys, it is now time. We need to squeeze. Ten minutes are up, so it is time for us to squeeze the kraut. So, Bilal, we're making some uh, fermented cabbage, or in other words, known as sauerkraut, and we're going to squeeze it so that we can get the brine out. Okay, I'm putting back on the gloves. Okay, here we go. Now this should be super briny. Yep. Oh, yeah. And there are techniques, believe it or not, to um, squeezing your cabbage. Uh, there's this one, and I don't know, I don't know what the purpose is for the different techniques. There's this one, like kneading bread. Look at how pretty that is. So the different techniques bring out, do something. I don't know, but I know, I know from watching and reading that you there's the like kneading bread and then there's the twist. So those are the only two techniques I know. But it seems to bring out... Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Okay. All right. I have to, I can't, I have to do one thing. I have to turn this other computer around so I can see what you're saying. Okay. So living your best life. Okay. Unless you give the word of knowledge, what you do next, like I was given to Karen, that book is no go. You're, Okay. Purple juice. Isn't that beautiful? That is the natural brine that came out of the came out of the cabbage. Now, this is already starting the fermentation process because it's just released with the salt. It's just released all of that brine. And we're going to stuff that into the jar. I believe it'll all This is another technique looks very familiar to kneading bread. Look at that foam. Oh, I can already, you guys, I can already taste this in my head in its fermented state. So I'm going to take one glove off so I can not be so messy. I sanitize the jar with hot water. And we're going to start putting this in. I suggest you use a, um, a wide mouth funnel so that you don't get it everywhere, although I already have. Did I see some? Who else did I see in here? Mama Goonie, good morning. Um, 
We're making some purple cab, uh, purple sauerkraut again because my host fell in love with the sauerkraut I made yesterday. You guys, if you don't know Mama Goonie, she does. She she's just she's my girl. I'm really having fun with her. I was on her channel last night while she was doing a reaction video of some drama pages or drama channels. Now, I'm not necessarily into the drama channel, but but if you just want to be entertained, it's kind of funny sometimes. So um, <laughs> Mama Goonie had me rolling yesterday, absolutely rolling. But some of that stuff, I got to stay away. I'm, I'm going to let you do that, Mama Goonie, because I got to stay away from some of that, that drama. Whew. And it's funny because these are, these are grown adults and they're acting like they're crazy. Anyway, let's get back to this. Let's get back to this. All right. So get this close. Once we get this in here, we're going to pack it way down. Now, I don't have my um, my uh, sauerkraut pa uh, plunger here, so I'm going to have to, um, I mean, my sauerkraut packer. I'm going to have to um, improvise a little bit. I also don't have... Well, here's a packer right here. I guess the fist is, see that? That's a, that's about half the cabbage right there. Oh, there is so much, I'm throwing it all over the place. Okay. Did you see that? Look at that. It's so much brine. So good. Alyssa, gotta go love you and all you are awesome people. Yes, mama, um, yes, is your term, my friend. Um, so uh, Mama Goonie Bil Bilal is from Turkey. He's new to my channel. He's got, what am I doing? I started talking and I stopped thinking. He's new to my channel and he's got some really interesting videos. It's all in Turkish. Um, but he's, he's, uh, he seems really cool. I hope you get a chance to, uh, check out his channel. That's all of you. Okay. So let's see what I can do here. I already have so much brine in there and I still have to get some sort of weight in there. Plus I have to get... Okay then, the boss life online. Hello, good to see you. Are you back? Yes, you are. We're still making the cabbage. We got the we got the um, carrots done. As you know, you were there for that. The carrots are done. This will uh, ferment for five days, and then we're working on the purple cabbage. I may save the green cabbage for tomorrow. That's what I'll do. Um, I, there's some other stuff I want to ferment too. So this is, this week is fermentation week, I think, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to save the, um, the green cabbage for tomorrow. And I'm not going to do anything funky with that. I may add some carrot. I may add some carrot to that because that's a typical thing to do. I have an organic carrot to go along with my green cabbage. We'll be fine. So we'll do that tomorrow, but let's get this done today. We are going to use a shot glass as a weight. So first of all, remember the white stuff on here is not pesticides. This is actually a wild yeast that helps the uh, helps the um, the cabbage ferment. So it's the yeast we want. Took off my gloves, but that's okay. I'm going to go down on the side, push it down, down on the other side, and push that under the brine. Okay, that's going to keep all the vegetables under there, and I'm going to do that with another leaf. I'm going to go down on the side. If I can. There we go. 
push this in here and all the way down. Oh, don't come up, please. Okay, this shot glass is going to go on top like this. Actually, no, I should have it open. There we go. Just a little bit of brine in there. Okay, that will help keep it down, especially if it starts bubbling up. Now, I need to, I'll walk you in the other room because I need to get a fermentation lock. You guys know about ferment. You've been with me enough. And if you haven't, you will learn what a fermentation lock is. Yes. So Bilal, bye Karen. See ya. Thank you for coming in. I'm glad that you got a chance to meet folks and hang out. Hello there, Mango. What? Mango tea? Mango tea? The drama, <laughs> the drama channel. Woo! Hello. Uh, mango tea, I'm all about fermentation. I am all about changing vegetables into something just a little bit different. So, thank you for coming in. It's so exciting. I had a really fun time on Mama Goonie's chat yesterday. Where's the rest of this? There's that. Okay. We're going to bring this in the other room. So I really appreciate you coming in. Uh, the drama, though, dude. The drama. The drama. I don't know what to tell you about all that. But you do it well. Your channel is about that, and it made me. Now, you know, I'm like, I'm not all about that drama. But where was I this morning? But on your channel going. I couldn't believe it. So, welcome to my channel. I'm, it's very nice that you stopped in. I'm kind of shocked, but nice to see you. Creator Madness, I'm here from your post, Mama Goonie. Oh, Mama Goonie, thank you for bringing folks in. Oh, my goodness. So, I, you guys, those of you who are... Uh, from Mama Goonie and all that, I thank you for coming in. I am a fermentation, food preservation, new cooks, um, new cooks and uh, 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 gluten-free channel. And I also do some other stuff. Sometimes I take a ride on a bike. Sometimes I drive up from Minneapolis to Park Rapids. Other times I clean cast iron pans. <laughs> so... Um, right now I'm going to finish doing my sauerkraut. Deborah Mosley, you're back. Creator Madness. Okay. So this looks like a mess, you guys, but that's because we've been working. Um, I have not had a chance to stop and, and go back and clean, which I will do next. So um, I need to fill my fermentation lock. And get a lid on that and set that aside. We're going to screw this on. This is a shot glass in here acting as a weight to keep this, uh, the, the vegetable under the brine. So we're going to get this screwed on. There we go. Put the lock on. And we are ready. So... McCoy, anytime I make stuff, I make a mess. LOL. Yeah, Four Horns. Hello, Four, Horn, uh, Four Horns Farm. Good to see you. We just finished putting together a batch of purple cabbage. We also, so this is going to go in the fermentation station, guys. So I need to get up on my stool, make sure there's a plate for it under there, and get that up there. I'm going to take this one down because... We need a bigger one. Here are the ginger carrots. Here is the purple sauerkraut, all going up in the warm fermentation station. Now the carrots are going to be ready tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, in five days. The carrots are going to be ready in five days. And the uh, sauerkraut will probably be ready in two weeks. So 
good, good to see all of you new channels in here. I look forward to, um, I look forward to, to checking you out. So four horns, first of all, let me look at creator madness. You guys are much larger channels than I am. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Thanks. Yeah, Creator Madness has 135 subscribers. Let's do something about that today. Let's read that about. I like to do this for my new channels that walk in. This channel is for me to rant about whatever <laughs> is pissing me off today. <laughs> Stay tuned for a lot of yelling and joy. Woo! <laughs> Well, I hope it warrants me laughing a little bit. It may be that positivity does not come in doses, but it is a state of being, like I am always black and always female. Yes, dropping knowledge again, bee lady. Cancel culture is a real thing. Psychology simplified. You know what? I can't wait to watch these videos. All right, so creator madness. We're connected. So creator madness, do you ever have a good day or is it just that you like to do that? I would agree. Sometimes someone makes may come across as too bubbly and too much energy, but that's not too much for them and it's not my place to judge. Right. Right, creator madness. Like... I'm not bubbly, I'm mean. <laughs> I, hope you're, I really hope you're not talking about me, but that's all right. <clears throat> and then who else was new in here? I, okay, so Detox Diva. I agree, but there are some people that don't know what positivity is. So a dose is the start, not the end. Cre oh my God, you guys are, you are you're, you're there you are. No such thing as too much happiness. We all can use a dose of positivity. Is there really such thing as too much? I missed all this because I was doing that. Okay, I have to go. Time for my life. Okay, you guys, at um, 11.30, I am going to take all of you. Thank you so much for coming in. It's been up and down between 4 and 15. Someday I hope it's 15 and 20 and then 20. So um, we will need to, I need to close down the stream at 1130. And then we're going to go right over to Boss Life Online. I'm Yes, Boss Life Online. So if you don't have that link or if you're on your phone, I'm going to, um, I'm going to get us there. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm just going to drop her link in a second. Boss Life Online, I'm going to drop her link. She's live now, and I'm just telling them how grateful. let's do this. So it is 1130 now. Please, this is the Boss Life Online. This is her um, live stream. Let's go on over there. Thank you so much for coming, you guys. I will be back tomorrow at 9.30. Um, I do have a video dropping tomorrow at 7 p.m. I hope I can be in that, in that um, premiere. I will make sure that I take a break at that time. I have really appreciated your company and what you watching can't go there, too much to do here. Oh, Bee Lady, but I always take, I, Bee Lady, I have to go there because I promised her I would. And I always like to keep my word that at 1130, when Boss Life is, is going live, I will go over there. You're about, is interesting. Who, oh, oh, Creator Madness. Yes, it is interesting. You're going to sugar later. Okay, I will do that too. Have to have a good one, everybody. I'm going to, I could keep the stream open, but I think we should go over to, well, do you want me to keep the stream open, B-Lady, or should I just end it?
I will stay dry. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and end it. And then um, I'll be back tomorrow. B lady, thank you so much for everything you have done for me. You, you have, you're, you drop knowledge and sometimes it's hard to take, but I really appreciate everything. Can't go just to make folks happy. You promised you would go, not stop. And you, now, ah, B lady, dropping knowledge. Tell me. Mm, mm, mm. All right, love you all. Love you all. I'm going to go ahead and end my stream because I also say two hours, two hours, two hours. Someday I may go three. Okay, you promised you, not me, girl. All right, all right. Thank you, B lady. Thank you. Thank you all very much. I'm ending the stream. Take care. I don't know if you've seen, I sent you an email. Me, Casey, or someone else? Probably me. Sounds great. Okay, I'm going over to Boss Life. I will check it out. Bye. Bye.